hard. This has to be a sprint. We're building it up. Five seconds. Set, go. Hard. Coach Peter Sinagra conducting a practice on Thursday as the Soaring Eagles prepare for Saturday's Hudson County Championship meet in Secaucus. We finished our regular season 10-0. Um, we're undefeated. Uh, if this Saturday is supposed to be our county championship, our league championship, um, it's basically every single school in Hudson County together competing against each other to see who's going to be county champ. If we succeed at doing that this Saturday, it'll be the eighth time in the last nine years that we've actually done this. So it's a pretty big accomplishment for the girls. They have a lot to be proud of. They work very, very hard, and honestly, they deserve it. But Union City has a 37-member squad. Um, there's never a day that doesn't go by where everyone's having fun in the water. Sonaga never gives a set that we like, but they're always there for a reason, and we definitely all have to give props to Sonaga for creating these sets that may seem not the best in the moment, but in the long run, they definitely help, and he's definitely one of the reasons where we are today. Um, but it's definitely the girls' dedication and their want for more because we wouldn't be where we were if they didn't want to be here. The effort that everyone puts in, because even though the team is split between beginner swimmers and ex more experienced swimmers, they all get a chance to kind of show what they're able to do and what, able, and what they're able to provide. And if they keep working towards whatever goal they set for themselves, they can make it there. I believe that the reason why it's such a good place, obviously the coaches are also there, but it's also the determination the girls have to keep pushing forward and to keep moving, like to keep going fast, they're like, okay, I hit this, let me try to hit that next time, you know? It's just, the their effort keeps escalating the further they get. Melanie Useda is one of several first year team members. Similar stories, you know, having seen um, the girls have so much success made us want to be a part of it so bad. Both, like all the girls are very dedicated and hardworking to the team. But Sinagra and Coach Rosales have definitely been pushing us because they see the potential in all of us. Come to practice every day. They try hard. During the off seasons, they do other sports like volleyball, track, tennis. We also have a club team here in Union City, Eagle Aquatics. A lot of these girls first started off with the club team. They had a lot of skills, a lot of technique at hand. Coming into high school, we just drilled in more of the speed, more of that technique to help them out. It would probably be Bayonne. Um, they have a pretty solid team. They have a pretty, uh, a pretty good team. Um, they have a lot of swimmers that match up in their times against ours. So if anyone's really going to you know, bring us a lot of competition, I would definitely say it's probably Bayonne High School. Following Saturday's county championship, 7th seed Union City travels to Phillipsburg on Monday for round one of the state tournament. In Union City for HUD News, I'm Jeff Hennig.